I uh, have, had always been interested in medicine from age nine. I had a fabulous role model as a family practitioner at home. So it was a fairly natural uh, thing for me to go into medicine. Uh, picking neurosurgery was a, a, an interesting one too. I thought I might be a neurologist. I was very interested in neurosciences. I was a neuroscience major undergrad at Colgate University. But then I realized I was more the surgical type of person. I liked doing things with my hands. I liked uh, creating uh, my own work. I, I liked the uh, instant gratification. So going into neurosurgery um, was also eventually an easy decision. There's something about the brain that, you know, the brain-hand connection, the brain-physical connection. You have to touch something, you have to do something with your hands. The most gratifying thing is, you know, a lot of my patients with the brain tumors, they have a very difficult battle, right? Um, do I profess to have a cure for glioblastoma, for example, that very bad tumor in the brain? No, I don't. But I do have an ability to keep them alive much longer than the average uh, neurosurgeon. And uh, for me to keep someone alive two, three more years than they would normally be alive allows them to be around two or three years from now that they could actually maybe experience a new treatment that's available back you know, then that wasn't available back when they got diagnosed. So that's one thing is um, moving, pushing the envelope. But for let's say a brain metastasis patient who um, has uh, two brain tumors secondary to lung cancer, in the old days, they had an average of three months to live and they would die from their brain tumor. The sky's the limit now. I can treat two, three, ten brain tumors in a patient with lung cancer and they won't die of their brain disease. There's, a, there's so many gratifying things in the field of neurosurgery that it's very exciting, um, especially the surgical side of it. You know, doing things surgically that they can benefit from very quickly as opposed to prolonged treatments medical therapies that, that often, you know, just uh, taper off in their efficacy. So it's, you know, it's an exciting field. I think it's the field of the future in neurosurgery. It's still a black box. It's still, a, it's still a, 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 an area of the body that we know so little about. And it's just uh, exciting what's gonna come out in the future.